straight NBA talk on phone. Portland Trailblazers are 16 and 3. They just beat OKC, the Spurs, the Pacers, and a bunch and beat up on the weak team, which is supposed to do the pad that record. We seen the Portland team last year that had a good starting five, but couldn't give it a hump. They improved their starting five by getting a seven foot footer to go along with Lamar Aldridge. They put Ryan Lopez in the start lineup, give you some solid post defense and some rebound and a seven foot defender that makes them finish the opposing player have to finish over the top. Uh, two defender, I mean two, two, uh, six, eleven, and seven feeder. They gotta finish over the top, so you don't foul. So it's hard to get they clog up that paint. So let's get into some facts. First, this team is sixteen and three. They're eighteen. They're eight and one at home, eight and two on the road. They got a point. They score one hundred and five points. That's fourth in the league. They score. They only allow nine ninety nine points a game. That's 16th in the league. They need to improve their defense a little more to get in that top 10. But the season just started. And they got a plus 5 points in strand. So they beat their team about 5 or more points per game. And they number 1 in the Western Conference. Their starting lineup is Damian Lillard, Wesley Matthews, Nicholas Batum, Lamarcus Aldridge, and Robin Lopez. Like I said, they beat the Pacers, the Spurs, and OKC. They just beat OKC yesterday. And they ate the rebounding. So they're a good offensive team. They're a good rebound team. That's one of the best things you can do, putting the ball in the basket and rebounding the ball when it's not yours. Offensive rebound, defensive rebound. Putting the ball in the basket and rebounding the ball are two good keys. And then they pat a tenth in assists, which is good because they circulating that ball. The ball getting to everybody, everybody getting touches on it. So it leads to more people being happy that they are touching the ball and they still winning. So that's good for the morale. You scoring the basketball, you having fun out there, plus you getting your own shots, plus y'all winning. It's a good triangle for winning games. And like I said, at 16th and 4th allowed, that's going to that's gonna be the area they're going to have to improve on. It's allowing, they need to get in 10th. 16th isn't bad, considering that they're 6 and 3, but they want to be a good basketball team. They want to be in that top 5 or that top 10 in points allowed, so they need to cut it to like 97 points a game, which is possible. If they just get they rotate clean up their rotate their rotations up on the defenders and force them to finish over the top of Lopez and Aldridge without fouling like they do in Indiana. But it'd be easier because I think the Marcus Aldridge is taller than the boys. And they but I know Hibbert is taller than Robin Lopez. I think Hibbert is seven two. But I, it was just a little debate. How far do you think this Portland team can be? Can they be a top four seed in the West? Can they, is it gonna be a bottom four seed in the West? Is they gonna improve in the in the future, can they still finish into the top four seeds? Can they, because they number one seed in the West now, 16 and 3, or is they going to fall off to the bottom and get put out in the first round? What, what do you guys think is the future projection for this Portland Trailblazers team? Like I said, is they a first round exit? Is they just a team that get off to a high start and fall off during the end of the year and not make the playoffs? Do, do they make a bottom seed and get put out in the first round? How far do you think this team can go? Comment, like, and subscribe, and share, and let me know.